Where's Wally or where's Waldo if you call this cilantro? This is coriander, by the way. Coriander. Coriander. If you don't know what this book is, it's one where you try to find a specky nerd. Ah. And no, not this specky nerd, this one. In a sea of colours and patterns that try and throw you off. Like a dog with the same clothes as him. Woof, woof. Or a Waluigi looking version of him. Ah. The book is meant for kids to try and help with their pattern recognition skills. So let's ruin the fun with machine learning to see if I, someone who has read at least three of these books, or a machine can find them better. It's probably going to be the machine, but I will try my best! First, we know that we need to feed in data into a model. In this case, where he is. I used a website called Roboflow, which is a platform that allows users to upload images, datasets, and locations of where he is. It's compatible with a convolutional neural network that I have used before called YOLO. And no, YOLO doesn't stand for you only live once. It actually stands for you only live online because you did computer science at uni. <sighs> I have used this open source object detection model before for a previous video against modes of transport in the UK versus the Netherlands, which provided some uh, interesting results. Downloading one of these models, putting it online onto my Google Colab workspace and training on the YOLO version 8 model took around an hour. Testing it out on random images, I found that- wait, 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 why isn't it working? No. So I tried to use the base Where's Wally image. It's literally just him on a white background. And you know what? It couldn't even find Wally in this image. Are you serious? If it can't find him here, it's going to have a fucking meltdown once it sees the full scale images I have planned for it. Loading. I think this is a picture of a very cute golfy. If you ever think I could hack your IP address to steal, like, Roblox funds or anything, don't worry at all, because I can't even get a machine to find Waldo in this image. Now, the database was small, only using around 19 large-scale images from the Where's Wally books, so I found one with thousands of images of Wally. I was a little bit cautious here because if I was stumbled across someone's PC and found thousands of images of Waldo, I would call the police. FBI, open up! It's for a YouTube project, leave me alone, it's for a YouTube <laughs> I was a bit scared, so I just put a test against the man himself and got even more scared. Putting in just the image of Waldo got an 89% confidence rate that it's him. Damn it. I am screwed. This is meant to be the base test. It's meant to have at least 90% accuracy here. I've got all these graphs saying it would work, but when putting in an image of Waldo, it's saying, yeah, mate, I'm like 80% confident this is Waldo. <sighs> For fuck's sake, so we're going to have to go back to the drawing board. So, sadly, I scraped this idea for a template matching approach instead. This applies a function to an image and tries to locate those pixels in the larger image, similar to a jigsaw. Now, as someone with at least 20 hours of Wally knowledge, okay, that's weird, I know that his face is at least one of the things that shows up on the pages. Sometimes his body's cut out, but his little beady eyes are always staring at you. So we'll do that. The import image will turn into a puzzle with the match template and min max location function to find patterns that resemble this idiot, such as his weird red and white striped shirt. The code provided walks through the step by step to highlight Waldo's location in the puzzle automatically. This is a lot faster than a human being. It found them within a second. I'm kind of screwed here. I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> to give me some hope though, the race will be the first one to circle Wally. Oh shit, but how can a computer circle Waldo, you ask? <laughs> By using a laser engraver turned into a pen plotter. It's very smart. It uses G code, which tells you the X and Y coordinates to laser. Or in our case, draw a nice little square. The code will project the final Waldo position in a language for the pen plotter to be printed out to. Okay, so we have the machine approach, which will most likely smoke me. However, I do have a trick up my sleeve. Introducing Randall Olson's strategy to find Waldo. What the hell is all this? Why are you making it even more complicated, you fucking idiot? He went through and found Wally's location, and using a genetic algorithm, found a rough pattern of where you should look. Now, this zigzag over two pages could just be printed out. Or... I download Fusion 360, scale up the canvas to match the size of the Where's Wally book, and draw the sketch out. After we draw the sketch out, all we need to do to convert it into 3D is apply a pipe on it based on a different circle. 
Then we just export this data and, oh my, is, wait, there's more steps? Okay, so we take the data, putting it into Cura to match a Creality 6 3D printer so we can load it onto it. Now, one interesting thing about this printer is that it uses OctoPrint, so the entire print relies on this tiny Raspberry Pi. Oh my god, I'm so screwed. I didn't realize this print would take 15 hours and it's relied on something the size of my fucking credit card. Well, it did actually print it off, and I'm actually impressed within the space of three days for someone who didn't know anything about 3D printing, I built this weird thing from scratch and used a stack of softwares and tools. Now, no one did tell me this print would take 15 hours, so whoops. So now it's the next day. You have me, who can't think three moves ahead in chess. I think I have to sacrifice my queen here. If I can move that, I can do a checkmate. Uh-oh. How the hell am I supposed to... Okay, maybe I just take this rock and then- But I can try and plan a different strategy, so- How did he get that?! Against the supercomputer, who could probably be everyone on this planet. This is not gonna go very well. So I selected a random page from the 19 legal images of Wally, here, and printed it out. Wait a minute, wait a minute, is this printing off in colour? Okay, I fixed it. Mate, if you think I've got the funds to print this shit in colour, you've got another thing coming. But hey, if 20 of you guys hit the subscribe button, yes, I can see if you guys do it. I will start maybe printing off and call it. Deal? No one cares. Since I'm a bit slow, I called on my friend Steve, who's way better at sorting machines to encode this pen plotter. He was trying to find Wally while <laughs> setting up, cheating. and he was using it <laughs> unconventional way. Technically, this method is inefficient. I'm honestly looking for the dog. Don't think you're going to find that either, because it's, it's a bit of a mess. Woof woof, I was here the whole time, you idiots. We had to tweak the pen plotter a few times since it kept jamming, made weird sounds, and decided to reset itself every 40 seconds. Ugh. Meanwhile, I was busy looking for Wally 2 to get a time to compare with the machine itself. This thing's the drawing machine. And then, I'm assuming you just put this piece of paper down. And then you just send the code. If only it was that easy. To get a real baseline, I made my friend Jack try find Wally since I've been working on this project for a couple of weeks, so much so that I've actually remembered where he is on every page, which is quite sad. Is that him there? I will admit, like, I, I, I just, just... I didn't even try before. You're ruining I didn't. Video? <laughs> Let's try this one, mate. It's supposed to make it hard. You know, uh, I might have to skip this one because I had a look and I found him straight away again. He's right there. What's going on with me? What's going right on? there. What's the bond? <laughs> Where's Wally? No, I tell people in work I'm half blind. I can't be doing this. All right, I'm going. Go. Back All right, on. let's go. Um, this is quite difficult. This one. I can't say that's a myth, can I? The little post in the corner. <laughs> that's cheating. I can't find him. I can't, I don't wanna, ooh. Help you. Yeah. Uh, this is where, <laughs> oh, this hello. is coming useful. Right, whack that on, Joe. Whack that on, any, anywhere, or? Yeah, just like bam, there you go. No, use, use this, just try and find them. It's not working, Eamon. It's not, not working. working, I think it's me. Let's try, let's try it again, let's try again. <laughs> Oh no, we're almost at two minutes. Yeah, almost at two minutes. There, got him. You got him? Yeah, there we are. There he is. Nice, there he is. And that's what? Two what, minutes, what six seconds, seven seconds? Two minutes and seven seconds, so that's what we have Brilliant. to do on, on the program. Yeah, well. <laughs> got this, this is why, you know what I mean? This is exactly. Now going back to the code, the Python program eventually ran smoothly, finding Wally in an alternative image I used generating a downloadable G-code file. Next, I plugged the pen plotter into my laptop and opened the UGS, which lets you send files to the device like this plotter. Because of course the code just didn't work straight away, fixing the pen plotter again didn't solve it. Wait, is there red and blue lights on the board? It turned out that the G-code format needed a bit of updating. It wasn't just draw a box around Wally, because of course nothing is that simple. The instructions had to be lift up, go down, drop, move around, and the pen needed to adjust thing like five times. Am I di like doing it diagonally? I don't know. As you can tell, we were very lost and needed help. I don't know, bro. That makes two of us your twelve. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's got like a bit of... 
God. Can I, did you hear it? It's going. I just heard the um, the nine gram servo just move. Are you, is that you? Yeah. Return to zero. Oh. Wait, why didn't it draw a line or do anything? So half the battle is actually getting the UNC oh, to connect to my laptop, and then second of all, the fuck's this thing twerking, man? What's going on? Oh, but the pen. The pen needs to be lower. Okay. It's, all, it's almost there. It's, 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 it's barely aligned. So we have to go back and read more documentation to see where we went wrong. I hate computers. Yeah. Trying to fix the problem, it just started running on its own. You haven't found me? Fun fact, that's the sound of needing a hard reset on the machine. And the sound of Eamon losing his will to live. After some initial tests and, and, and movements and m more tests and more movements and more tests and... <sighs> Where did it all go wrong? And do you realise we were actually doing it upside down? Has top on it. That has right. Right. Ah. Uh, yes. You're right, Steve. Steve's right. Don't worry, it only took us 20 minutes to figure that out. Wait, 20 minutes? It's not letting me go. Womp womp. Yes. Okay, that is all. Other issues included my machine not running Linux, the wrong port configuration, and apparently me breathing on it too hard because it seemed to break after every attempt. What? Am I di like doing it diagonally? I don't know. Can you tell from my body language that I was losing patience? Cause I was. After a couple of minutes of modifying the code and cycling through and seeing why this pen plot was twerking all of a sudden, this happened. <laughs> it finally found him! It only took... Oh my god, why did it take so long? I hope you're happy, you little sh If you count the entire time of us fixing him and amending the code, it took around seven minutes for the computer to find him. So I guess the humans win, yay! However, if you're counting the actual time of us clicking the button, the code actually finding where Wally is, sending the G code and me uploading it onto the UNC system for the pen plotter to find where he is, it took around 20 seconds. So boo, I guess the robots win in that case. Stupid uncoordinated robots, you still have to tell them what to do though. But let's just pretend that didn't happen because I don't want to think what Elon Musk is cooking up with his army of humanoids. I'm just enjoying my little walk. If you enjoyed this video, I've got plenty more coming down the pipeline, so you can hit the like and subscribe button so I know I didn't completely waste my time here. Okay, well, I know I completely wasted my time, but at least it'll make me feel better since I've got like 2,000 images of Wally that the MI6 says I need to explain by next week or I'm going to jail. When you do that, do you want me to do a dramatic zoom in to yeah, the book? Yeah. I don't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> what book did you get, Eamon? Nothing. Where's Wally, mate? <laughs> $7.99 is a bit of a ripoff, to be honest. And where have we just been kicked out of? The, <laughs> the library! If you don't have this book! This isn't Wally. Like, Hunger Games?